two on Gilbert Stevens. All this, but I think this is broken. It is broken. Is there stuff in here? Huh. Some de decor. Take that decor. Decor. Plate. Some more decor. Just sort it out when we get home. These are good boxes too. <laughs> more decor. Oh, some books. Let's see what kind of books are in there. For this, what's in here? Some shoes and socks. Put shoes and socks. Clothes, I mean, shoes and clothes. Alright, cool. That's it. Got a couple of things going on over here. Huh. A little football game thing. Then we'll put this in the back of it now. You see, I'll put it over here for now. Mics. Cool game. Let's go.
bunch of toys. Toys. Mm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take all this toys. Bags of toys. This is a this is a wheel, but I might have a couple there at the house that I can replenish that with. So we're going to take this guy. It's heavy too. Snug fit right there. Shelves. I don't want them to fall at the back. I don't know if I want to miss with that. Do not take behind the trash cans. Alright. So, we got. I'm going to take all this. Some neckties. Um, I'm probably. Probably gonna donate all the neckties. I'll look through and see if there's any I like. So, got a, some kind of toy here. Pillow. Probably donate all that too. Just because I'm already here.
This is like it's missing something. Oh, this is broken. That's why that's in the trash. We'll give this guy a shot, see if he's good. Here's another Dyson. Been able to fix these up in the past, so. I'm gonna give this one a try. All right, guys, I kind of cheated a little bit. <clears throat> and I started looking before I filmed. So we've got a couple bags here. We've got a couple bags here that are that's some good stuff, so we're gonna go and take these. And we'll work them at home. We'll go ahead and start off with the. Oh man, I'm not sure if I like the way this looks. All right, we'll start off with these shelves. Kind of hard to see. We'll do our best. Of course, we got the brown ones. Um, it's going to be a one, two, three, four shelf bookcase. Um, it does come with all the little shelves, so that's good. good great condition, actually. Then you got these two black ones. Um, it's kind of hard to see because it's got a, like a real glossy finish to it. But can y'all see that? There's that one and there's this one. Nah, I'm just not liking the way this looks. You know what, guys? I'm going to put this stuff up and we're going to walk through it in the daytime because you really, I really don't like the way it looks here at night. So I'm gonna put this stuff up, we'll come through the daytime, I'll just have to suck it up and get hot and uh, deal with it. And uh, we'll go through this stuff in these bags and hopefully find some good stuff. So just hang tight and we'll do this in the morning. All right guys, so we're on our way to the storage unit to go do this recap on the stuff we found the other night. But first I'm gonna show you guys something. On the way home from church, I was going by, uh, well driving in the neighborhood and I see this house. Yeah, a bunch of stuff. You're gonna get some bonus footage. Um, I'm glad I didn't uh, stop to uh, record because that few minutes that I took to go get my camera. <clears throat> All right, and that time that I took to get home and get my truck, by the time I got over there, started loading up, there was already someone else driving by. I recognized him, I told him he could pick with me, but he decided to leave, but I sent him a text, told him that it was me, I don't think he recognized me, and uh, I told him to go back. So I'm gonna drive by the house real quick to kind of show you, because there's still a lot of stuff there. I just ran out of space, <clears throat> and I really can't load all the stuff up, but we're gonna check it out. All right, so here's the stuff right here, and I'm. I ran out of space or else I'd come get some more but uh, after I dump this load if there's still time for me to come back and uh, get some of this stuff I might come back but as of now I just I just don't have the space don't there's no way for me to, to get it and uh, and I can't drop this off at the storage and just leave it there and come back because uh, the owners obviously don't like for people just to leave messes there so I gotta actually put it in the storage unit um, and have some room so we'll see maybe it'll be there when I get back all right, so now that I got some of the stuff out of the way and moved over, let's take a look and see what I found. <clears throat> I'm not going to lie, guys. It's been about a couple weeks since I did this pick. Uh, just the way the system goes as far as putting stuff in there, going out picking, putting more stuff in there. I had to kind of do that in layers. So I kind of picked A, B, and C, then did the reveal C, B, and A, if that makes sense. Um, so I want to say that all the stuff that I got in here is from that one pick. 
there might be some stuff that was from another pick there might be some stuff that was in this pick that i showed another pick and vice versa but you guys get the gist of it so let's get started now we're gonna go here with these bookshelves and it's funny um i was just thinking about doing some rearranging at the booth and every time i do i'll get blessed with something like this uh it's two bookshelves here the dark wood um it comes with all the uh the actual shelves that go in here and I have all the little pegs that go in there as well. So I have these two and this one. And I'm thinking about taking them all up there to uh, to the booth because I've got a bunch. <clears throat> and you're gonna see, if I can do this video, add it onto this, I got a bunch of uh, VHS tapes uh, that, that I know will sell. I got a bunch of uh, records that I just bought at a garage. So I got such a good deal, guys, on these records. Um, I wish I would have filmed it, but you know me, I don't like to film too many garage sales. But anyways, we're going to move on. Uh, we also got uh, we also got these two uh, patio chairs. There's a little bit of rust in there. You can hear some of the rust moving around in there. It's not too bad, though. They're real firm. You can sit in them, no issues. They're not rotted at the bottom or anything like that, which is the main thing. I think I got these two bikes as well. I want to say I got these two chairs as well. And I want to say I got that weed eater. Now, this weed eater looks brand new. I don't know what happened to it, but um, I'm going to take it to my dad and see if there's anything wrong with it. And it, might, it might just start up, so I'm, I'm not sure. And then we got this cool thing right here. This is End Zone uh, Sports Squad. Uh, basically, just you know, get your football and you play a game. It's kind of like a toss game or beanbag or whatever. And you throw it in here and uh, you, know, you keep track of your points. It's pretty, pretty neat. Pretty neat. I like that. It should sell fairly easily. Guys, this stuff back here is crazy. So I got some more stuff in here. And as you can see, it just opened up a lot. Just getting some stuff out. I got these boxes in here that I want to say are from that pick. So let me get situated here and I'll go through these. I want to say it's 40. has four boxes. And we'll see what's all in there. I did get a bunch of stuff ready for Chris. This is all going to go to Chris's house for his garage. So that he's having in a couple weeks couple weeks or now about maybe about a couple about a month and a half or so but he's starting to get ready now so yeah uh y'all remember the s'mores thing um let me have that a bunch of doll stuff toy stuff that glassware i consolidated into two boxes a bunch of home stuff the bags of toys i'm sorry the bags of clothes and the shoes uh i think they'll fit his grandson so i want him to go through them first and then if he decides to put them in the garage so i'll donate them they'll be up to him and they got another box of toys in there so He's gonna get hooked up, and uh, over the next few weeks, all this stuff right here too. So over the next few weeks, you'll probably see me say, or hear me say that, I'm gonna take this to Chris's, that to Chris's. Um, as y'all know, he does a lot for me. Um, we're good friends, We've been I've known him for many, many, many years. So I don't mind hooking him up, and he hooks me up as well. Uh, while we're in here, I wanna take a look at this right here. I think this is also from that, from that one night. We got the box of Mega Blocks. Let's see what's in here. Got a looks like a pillow. Got this toy here. I'm not sure it's vintage enough. I have to check it out. But I like those crates. There's a box of Mega Blocks. What was in here? All those different stuff in here. Let's take this down real quick. A little heavy. We got what is this, like a purse, uh, Versace purse. Oh, this might be from an older pick. We got a Versace purse here. Looks like we got some more clothes and stuff. Yeah, so this will probably go to Chris's also. I'll get some of the stuff together. Um, yeah, so that looks like it's gonna be it. Uh, let's go through these boxes and then uh, we'll wrap it up in here as far as that picking. All right, box number one, pretty plain and simple. It says 2014. I don't know if that comes off. I knew. Got this big old plate here. That's really nice. Not for food use. Not sure what this is for then. Maybe just as decor. Little frames. Little crosses. Some more metal. These are pretty frames. Let's look at these because you probably want them. Yeah. 
So that's that box right there. All right, box number two. We got some more. Oh, this is decor. Okay, so we got that guy there. I'm sure this is the same. Yep, that's that guy there. Let's see. We got some. Gosh, I forgot what these are called, but kind of hang these on the wall and put a candle on there. Yeah, a couple of those. It looks like you got another one of those things right here, right in there. So we're not going to check that out. We know what they look like. Oh, man. Yeah, so there's this complete book of, uh, I think the original book was, oh, my gosh, what was it called? It's about the rapture and end of times and stuff like that. Assassins. Left Behind. So it's the Left Behind series. And it's a complete, well, I say complete. I don't know if it's complete or not. But there's a bunch of hardback books, so uh, I think I'll be able to sell these. I think I'll be able to sell them. Someone will want them. So that's all that is in here. I did look through this box before, guys, so I kind of get an idea once I open it up and I remember that that one was in there. I checked all the pages already. Nothing in there, but uh, that's what we have. All right, last box here. This here in here has a beautiful vase. $34.99 original price. This is really, really nice. It's very heavy. Um, I remember, I do remember picking this up and opening up this box, but I didn't look to see what else was in here. So this is all going to be a surprise to me as much as it is to you. Looks like we got a little basket of things, <laughs> like some acorns or mini miniature apples or those cherries, cinnamon. This has a little basket, it's kind of cute. A little home decor, Iris likes that kind of stuff. I'm sure if she sees this video, she's gonna say, ooh, I want that. More than sure. Ooh, this is nice. This is like a cast iron little piece of decor for a candle. I'll keep this to the side. I'll take that right to the booth. And then we've got some bookends. Um, pretty heavy also, some kind of uh, casted iron. Uh, I'll go ahead and take those to the booth as well. Take these out right now. And uh, put this guy back in here. Let me put some cushion down there so don't get damaged. Alrighty. Alright guys, so I'm going to do something I haven't done in a while, and that's a giveaway. So who's ready for a giveaway? Um, two things that I found in the trash. Now, one of them, I'm pretty sure it's real. It's authentic. The other one, I don't think it is. But who knows? It might be. I'm not an expert at these things. And... If it is and you guys win it, hey, lucky you. And if it's not, well then, hey, lucky you anyways because you got something that's kind of nice. So the two things I'm gonna give away are these two things right here. All right, so I got this Incline purse. Really, really pretty purse. Very clean. Don't see really any issues with it. Got a little bit of trash in there. I'll take the trash out. I like papers and stuff like that. But. I mean, really solid purse. Really solid purse. Nothing's wrong with it. I'll do that one as a giveaway. What's in here? Oh, yeah, see? Little things like this. This is a rock. So, we've got this Ancline purse that we're going to give away. Y'all get a good look at it. And the second one I'm going to give away is this quote unquote Louis Vuitton. Is it real? Is it fake? I don't know. I'll let y'all decide in the comments. Y'all let me know. Is this guy real? Is it fake? I think it's fake, but what do I know? I'm just a guy that picks trash out of the garbage. So, Louis Vuitton purse looks pretty good to me. Looks nice. It doesn't feel like leather, but I don't know. Still looks kind of cool. If you guys would want to win either one of these purses, let me show you the inside. The inside's clean. Inside is very clean. Here's a large. I don't know. It could be real, guys. Could be real. If you want to win either one of these two, look at the straps. See, that's a, that's what kind of makes me feel like, oh, who knows? But you got this purse here, and that purse there. Okay, so very easy to win this purses, guys. 
let's make it real easy so you don't have to, cause some people don't have to spill Louis Vuitton. I know I don't. It ought to correct for me. And Anne Klein can be kind of tricky too. So if you want to win the Louis Vuitton purse, the Louis Vuitton purse, type in LV, all right? LV for the Louis Vuitton. And of course, you know, for the Anne Klein, type in AK for Anne Klein. Try to make it in two separate posts, guys, because I'm only going to pick one winner per purse. You can't be the same winner. So to make your chances better, if you comment two separate times, as many times as you'd like, guys, I'm not going to limit how many times you, you, uh, you comment. Uh, each time you comment will increase your chances of winning. So AK for Anne Klein, LV for Louis Vuitton. No spaces, no periods, nothing like that. Just the LV and just the AK. Simple as that, guys. Good luck. Hope you guys win. And uh, I look forward to seeing y'all's comments because I think this will be a fun giveaway. Two purses, guys. Two purses. I mean, can't beat it. Leave a comment below. Hope you guys win. All right, guys. I was, I was digging around and kind of situating stuff here. I found some more bags. And I want to say this is all from that same night. So um, without further ado, this, this video is just going to get better and better, isn't it? Let me see what we got in here. Um, honestly, guys, I have no idea what was in here. I don't remember. It's been so long ago. So, it's going to be one of those bags. It's like there's a bag within a bag. And here, looks like there's a bunch of trash. Yeah. This is all painting stuff. There's some paint cans. There's some paper, I guess, where they covered stuff up. So that's no bueno. This other bag. Okay, this is going to be a bunch of toys. So it looks like. Yeah. Oh, this is already kind of. Looks like a Disney princess there. Got Mickey, Mickey, Minnie Mouse. So, hmm, Peppa Pig stuff. So this is all toys, Disney stuff. There's little people. Likely uh, take to Chris's house kind of thing. Oh, look at that, isn't she cute? Tinkerbell. So that's going to be definitely a take to Chris's house. I was able to sell that as a garage sale. Alright, let's see what else we got in here. Another bag. Um, looks like this one's full of clothing. Oh, yeah. This is all little kids clothing. I'm not even going to check the pockets on these because these are all little kids clothing. Yep. Yep, all little kids clothing. So. <laughs> yeah, I doubt it. Yeah, these pockets don't even open. Alright, so you know where this is going? It's going to Chris's. On to the next one. Oh wow, okay. So this one you got a bunch of shoes. Men's shoes. Jay Murphy's. These are actually, looks to be pretty good. Jay Murphy, man, these look really comfortable. Rock ports. Another pair of rock ports. Another pair of Jane Murphy's. Oh man, it's getting hot in here, guys. Trash. Looks like a bunch of men's shirts. Oh, this is trash at the bottom. Let me talk these shirts. Yeah, this trash down here. Can we salvage any of it? Hmm. 
Oh, look at that. Adidas jersey. It's like a soccer jersey. Gotta get some money right there. Yeah, these are all clothes. All right, looks like we're able to salvage a yeah, bathing suit. Hmm. Massimo Small Petite. All right, yeah, and the rest on here is definitely trash. So we'll put that to the side. I'm not going to have time to go through this stuff, guys. We're going to go to Chris's. Man, these are nice shoes, though. I'm not going to sell them. Let me show you guys. I got these full shoes over here. And I price them for 10 5 bucks, and they don't sell. And I don't want to be able to sell them on, on, a, on a eBay because you get a bunch of flakes. I want to return them because they don't fit like a size 9. and Oh, it's just a pain, guys, selling on eBay. For those who sell on eBay, y'all know. All right, next bag. Ooh. Look at here. Yeah, I know this is not mine now. I know I didn't go through these bags. So I never, I never, I don't ever tie the bags this tight. Okay, bags within bags again. All right. So here, we got some more clothing. Oh, let's see. Women's, like this is more for like women. And a bunch of little bows. I like a little girl. Mm -hmm. Trash. All right, this is all girls' clothes. Yeah, little girls' clothes. So that's that bag there. This guy looks like it's full of hangers. And this one looks like it's... Clothes and hangers. Again. And this is good stuff too, guys. Reebok. Oh, man. This is a nice, nice little hoodie there. Okay, well, it's gonna go to the Chris garage sale pile. Clothes and hangers in this one. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff, and we're gonna have to do this in phases, okay? So here's the first little group of stuff that I'm gonna take out. I'm gonna show you guys what I found, take some pictures for Facebook, and then move on to the next, so on and so forth, right? So let's get to it. First of all, my goodness, this fan blows great. This one is going to replace that guy there. Because although that one blows all right, this one here, I mean, this one here blows a lot better. I mean, it's strong. So, we're going to keep that one. It's like an extra large dog crate, humongous dog crate. Um, it's about waist high to me, so it's XL, maybe double XL. You got this little guy here, which I kind of like. Um, good for moving stuff around that's not too heavy. And uh, how does it work? There you go. So you put this down. And this, I'm sure y'all all seen this. Folds right up real easy. So, good find there. There we go. Uh, second was this dog bed. What's the frame for a dog bed? It's kind of like a like a day bed, but for a dog. A metal frame, real good condition. A nice little table here. Um, probably be used outdoors. It's from Pure One. Iron base. I'm not sure if this is a real mosaic or if it's just a design, but real pretty. It's got a couple little bumps here. 
in there, nothing major. Uh, let's get to this first box here. Okay, so there's princess lights. And the main reason I bought this one was for these. Because uh, these lights can get expensive. They can get, I think they're about 30 bucks each one of them. And there are three of them in here, so that's 90 bucks right there. Then plus if I sell these Christmas lights, hopefully I can get something for them. That's at least 100 bucks. Then you got the totes. The totes are in good condition as well. Oh yeah, this one here. I have to work on this little thing. Um, I picked it up because it's got a bunch of like these screws here. It's like good wood screws. Some long ones and some short ones. Drywall anchors. Some more drywall anchors. Some caulking. Uh, these are the uh, wire connectors. Uh, so like whenever you splice two wires, you can hook them. And uh, that's about it in here. Some steeler, of course some rollers. These aren't nothing, you know, too, nothing to get excited about really. Looks like some electrical, electrical tape in there. So, decent little box. I picked it up for the for those tools. Hopefully we can use them. Or the hardware, should I say. Not the tools, the hardware. All right, moving on with the second batch. Kind of scattered here. Got some pecan smoking chunks, which anytime I find any kind of smoking wood like that, I pick it up because I use it. Uh, we got this small little Plano fishing tackle box with uh, a couple little things here, some four ounce weights. Looks like we got a little rooster tail there. Got some hooks stuck in there. Got some major. Got this large canister to hold dog food in. Those are fairly expensive. We got four tennis rackets. We got this Prince. Long body Prince Extender Premier. Got this guy here and that guy there. And there's my lovely wife. I was gonna bring me some water. What's up, baby? Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Alright, so we got this dog crate. That one looks like a large dog crate. This pen kennel, kennel or whatever play pen there. Get my water real quick. Thank you, baby. Love you too. Whew. She came through with the water. Very grateful for that. All right, so moving on. Look at that. What is it? It's a, like a day bed for a dog. Oh, cute. You just need a cushion? Yeah, I'm not sure if you want that for a dog, so just sell it. Nah, it's kind of big. Okay. Nothing else in the middle? All the stuff in here. But. Stuff? No, there's all sorts of stuff. I think there was, but um, I'll have to show you pictures later because I don't remember. <laughs> okay. All right, thanks, babe. Okay. All right, here we go. So we got this Mizuno baseball glove. Those are usually pretty good. Superior design. It says World Win Mizuno. Just like a regular Fielder's glove. Got this hockey stick. It says Sherwood. Pro 5066R, I guess for right-handed. And is that broken? No, it's not. That's just the way it's put together. All right, so you got that guy there. You got this driver. Let me see. I just saw there was a driver, so I grabbed it. This is titanium. Golf Augusta Pro Shops True Temper Made in USA Ultra Lightweight Graphite E1 or EI70 uh, Golf Augusta I guess that's the main brand I've never heard of it But I'm not a golfer Got that We got a bunch of Like spoons and Stuff like that Some tongs and I couldn't believe it. Look at all these NASA patches. I mean, we just finished doing stuff about NASA just a week or so ago. Orion, Stratus, world leader in aerospace protective gear. I mean, there's just all sorts of stuff in here. All sorts of stuff. Red Bull. I mean, I don't know. Flight crew operations. Johnson support division. 
bunch of cool stuff in there. Got two helmets. This one looks like a truck, so it's like a uh, like an equestrian helmet. Helmet Legacy White Troxel Cycling and Fitness. Oh, it might just be a bicycle helmet. I was mistaken. And then this one definitely looks more for like someone who rides a dirt bike. It's a DOT. Z O X. Meets Exceeds. All that good stuff for racing. Lucio. It's a ladies helmet. Or if you're a guy who wants to wear pink, there's nothing wrong with that either. That looks good. We're gonna wrap it up over here real quick without going and taking everything down, just kind of get a good idea. You have this stadium chair from Academy. These are lifesavers, guys. When you're sitting down on that stadium, these chairs right here are really, really comfortable. That back support and the armrest right there really make or break your viewing experience when you're at a football game at the like at the uh, the high school games. Got a wood shelf. I'll probably take that to the booth also, and I'll put the two black ones back to back, and I'll put that brown one and that one back to back, and we'll be set to go. Uh, finishing it off over here, this is brand new in a box. This is a track system. Fast track, very easy, versatile. Tracks by Rubbermaid, 84 inches. I'll see how much they cost brand new, and I'll get those listed because I want to say those are very expensive. You have three baseballs. These are soft baseballs. These are good for like uh, teaching a kid who's little, you know, T-ball maybe age. They're kind of a dirty, but triple play fast. So I don't know. I might see if there's some kids around the neighborhood that want them. Give it to them. What else do we have? This guy here is a quick draw over the head overhead UTV gun rack this is going to go in your golf cart or in your you know uh, off-road kind of uh, ATV or UTV and it sits right up there for easy access coop biscuits cookie cutters hurts 1980 oh this is vintage vintage so we got some cookie cutters in here yes we do bunch of heart shaped cookie cutters so that's cool i'll put that in the booth definitely take that to the booth we got a fishing pole we got a wicker basket in there what else do we have we got another stadium chair back in there we got a couple cans of raid those ant and roach spray and you have that honeywell uh looks like a high performance fan it's just a fan it's not a heater which is cool fans are going to be selling right now so that's going to be it for today look at that guy right there also forgot to mention i think this is black and decker yes yeah, black and decker workmate put that at the table you're going to put some wood together hold it in you make your cuts what have you get to go and boy guys that was a long day my day's not over yet. I still got to take these things to the booth. Let me see what time it is. See if I have time to do it. 4.09. I don't quite think so. The booth closes at 5. I wonder if I can make it. The booth is about 15 minutes away. I might be able to take these there real quick and just drop them off. Okay, I went back to the house. <laughs> to Because uh, it looked like some more stuff out there. And this guy was there. I'm not sure what this is for, to be honest with you. But I saw it sticking out. I was like, man, they, they must have some more stuff. So they did. They had that. Um, ended up getting this uh, cuisine art. What's it called? Blender. Now I think I'm just gonna take that to work because we're, we're always looking for like a blender. They had this guy here. Oh man, I thought it might have been antique, but it's not. It's just made to look like an antique. But still, that's going to go to the booth. This is made in China, but... That might have that might have, that might have been a sticker for something else. Who knows? But it looks real nice, so... I didn't make it, guys. I didn't have time to get to the booth in time. So, 
I'm gonna make some room in here and get those shelves put away and I'll probably go Tuesday because oh, lose his clothes on Mondays. This video is getting to be really long. So I'm not gonna go through this and dig with y'all. What I'm gonna do is kind of dig the stuff out. Um, there's a real nice jacket in one of these bags, a North Face jacket. I couldn't believe it. So I grabbed this bag and another bag, a purse and some shoes and stuff in there. So we're gonna see what's in it. I'll show you guys here when I'm done. All right, so there wasn't a whole lot, <clears throat> but in this case, it's, oh, it's gonna be a quality over quantity. Um, no idea what that's for back there. It's some kind of basket. No, nope. I asked Iris. She said you just hang stuff in there or put stuff in there. I don't know. Maybe for plush animals. Maybe. Uh, so I did have this tripod. Uh, this is going to be good for you know camera, even for your phone. Like this one here, set up for a phone. So, let's see what that goes for. Uh, these here, these shoes, I'm not going to keep. I'm going to donate them. We got some Steve Madden's, some Aldo's, some Isaac, whatever. So, I'll take those to donate. And this is kind of neat. It's an emergency crank radio from Radio Shack. Who knows how long that's been that they bought this. But Radio Shack, at least over here, is non-existent. And uh, this thing doesn't look like it's ever been taken out of the box. So that's kind of cool. These are crystal. These are by Mikasa. Picture frame. Oh, the picture frames. Okay, I thought they were bookends, but that makes more sense. Okay, so two Mikasa picture frames. This cute little... Uh, it's a tuxedo for a little dog. Really cute. Um, a couple shirts and clothes for women, nothing really much. I got this, looks kind of almost like a western Christmas shirt. Got this one here, it says cowgirl on it, blinged out. Got this dress, uh, sleeveless Betsy Lauren says hero status with the superman symbol on it dog says cool picture frame this one sets up like so boom you flip the pictures put that on your desk have a good time with it and a pair of pants that's all going to be donated but here is where it got exciting Got some heavy coats. Um, really good. I mean, very, really good quality. Got this one by EMS. Don't know the brand, to be honest with you, but I'll look it up. Maybe put some Soul 4 comps up here for you. Got that one by EMS. This one here is just one of those little vests. Nothing, nothing really going on here. Then we start getting to some interesting stuff over here. This one here is by North Face. North Face is a really good company. Real thick, heavily insulated. It's gonna be a really good, really good jacket. Um, extra large. That's a nice one there. Moving right along, we got this guy here. It's almost like a, not quite a trench coat, but it's it's a long coat. It's a long coat. I mean, it goes down right by my knees. So trench coats tend to go a little bit further down. Call that a long coat. My company called Hart Schaffner Marks, 44 regular. Again, nice insulated, good quality jacket. This guy here is by Ebtech by Eddie Bauer. So you got this outer one here, which is uh, not that insulated, but this one here is your is your uh, 
what you call your your liner that goes on the inside of this jacket add some more insulation and uh, this one here said both Ebtech Eddie Bauer this is a medium this is a large I thought this one together maybe it doesn't but those two are good jackets and the last one is this guy right here another North Face jacket for those who live up north um, who wear this kind of stuff you know this stuff is not cheap nice quality jacket what else I think that was it oh this guy here Palm Pilot Palm I think Pilot is that what it's called Palm Powered I don't even know what this is. So I'll turn up maybe put batteries in it because I don't know what this is. But that's what that's it. Pretty cool. Well thank you guys so much for watching. I'll leave you with this. Lord Father, just want to thank you so much for the many blessings, Lord. Uh, you continue to bless me and my family abundantly, Lord, and I'm just so grateful for it. Um, I just want to thank you for my viewers. Thank you for the people who follow me, people who subscribe to my channel, Lord. I just want to ask you that you would bless them abundantly, Father, more so than they would ever even imagine, Lord. I just ask you that you would watch over them, Father. Put your healing hands over their bodies, over their hearts, over their minds, Lord, whatever is ailing them. You continue to bless us, Father, bless their marriages, bless us financially, Father, bless us through health. And in all areas in our life, Father, we just thank you so much for doing it. Uh, we believe that you are the same God that made miracles, 2,000 years ago, Father, and you're the same God that we serve now that still creates those miracles. Just thank you, Lord, for everything, Father, that you do for my channel, for giving me the health to be able to do this, Lord, for getting the stuff off the streets, getting it to people's hands who might not be able to afford it brand new, and some of the stuff, obviously, Lord, that we donate. We just want to thank you for giving me the opportunity to do that, and it's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen, guys. Don't forget about the contest, guys. LV for Louis Vuitton, AK for Ann Klein. Leave your comments. Get going. As many comments as you want to get. Share the video. Hit like. You got to be subscribed, guys. You have to be subscribed. If you're not subscribed, you're not going to win. All right, guys. Till next time. Peace.